Okay, now that you've exported out your video into an EXR and brought it into any one of your editing softwares that you would like to use, I'm gonna be using DaVinci Resolve just because I think it's the easiest and the best. Once you bring it in, you're gonna notice something that the image doesn't look anything like how you thought it looked inside of Blender. And really quickly, what we're gonna do is just double check our timeline settings really quickly. So. The timeline settings that I am using is just a 1080p because that is how I exported it out. And then I have it on the same 24 frames per second. Um, but the thing that I have set up here is my color management. So I'm using a Mac, so I'm gonna be using a Rec. 709A and a color manage workspace. And I'm gonna show you really quickly how I would color grade this and fix this EXR that we've exported out from Blender. So I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. And this is actually an incredibly easy fix and I've added in that song again that we had editing in the other video. Again, you just can't even see anything just because of the EXR. So let me go ahead and show you how to fix that so that your render can look perfect exactly how it did inside of Blender. Um, first thing we're gonna do is head over to the color tab and we are going to create two nodes. I'm gonna put one node at the end and one node at the beginning. So with an EXR, what we have to do is we actually need to convert this into the correct color space that we need. And there's a whole bunch of LUTs that I have that you can use to do that. These LUTs are gonna be free. Just go ahead and click the link below to grab these LUTs and use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here, head over to my LUTs, head over to the Filmic LUTs. Now, if you have never used LUTs inside of DaVinci Resolve, what you'll have to do is just simply come over here, click one of your LUTs and then Go ahead and find these inside of your finder. Once you found them inside of your finder, go ahead and just put the folder of filmic LUTs into that same file location, and that way you'll be able to find them and open them inside of DaVinci Resolve. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and on this first node, I'm gonna click here, head down to LUT, go into filmic, and I'm going to click scene linear to base encoding. And what that will do is basically put this into what that's going to do is basically change this from a linear profile to a log profile. And so now you can see this actually looks a lot closer, but not exactly how it looked like inside of Blender. So after we've done that, we're gonna go to the final node over here and go down to LUT, head over to Filmic. And now we have our options that we even have inside of Blender that we can change these into how we would like this to look. So. The one that I tend to go for is the low, is the medium low contrast, and that one tends to give me the most accurate representation of what I have inside of Blender, because I usually tend to use that one instead. And so now, if you want to color grade on this, what I would do is color grade in between these two LUTs, because now we have our base encoding, which is going into the linear, into the log profile. And so right in this area, you'll have the most dynamic range to be able to edit and color grade your footage. And then your final LUT right here is basically just turning this into a Rec. 709 image so that it is a viewable image for you to see. And again, you can always just go into this and kind of mess around with these and see which ones you like the most. We can do a very high contrast. We can do a very low contrast whatever you would like from these filmic LUTs right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just do that medium to low contrast. Um, a simple way to just color grade really quickly would just be going to this middle LUT right here. Maybe add just a little bit more contrast, bring up the mid, the mid tone and the shadows a little bit, and bam, we have an awesome looking image from this to that. Super simple, three simple little LUTs, and of or three simple little nodes, and of course you can always just go ahead and add any other type of nodes or color grading that you would want to into this. Something that I like to do, if you have the paid version of Resolve, what I like to do is just go over to the Film Look Creator, add that in the middle. I know it kind of turns it weird and green. Do a simple clean slate, and this is kind of my go-to for everything. Add a little bit of bleach bypass, a vignette, add a vignette and add some grain. I love adding grain to my 3D renders because I think it just gives it a little bit more texture and a little bit more love. And again, pretty simple, pretty subtle, but I feel like it adds a lot to 
the image to make it look a little bit more realistic. And of course, we can always go into here and just dial back some of these shots and scenes or bring them up a little bit. So that is how to color grade it really quickly inside of DaVinci Resolve, your EXR files. Again, all you need to do is grab one of those LUTs over here. So you're gonna right click the node, go to LUT, add the Filmic on your first LUT. We're gonna add the linear to base encoding. And on the final node over here, we're gonna add a LUT and you can choose any one of these contrast LUTs over here, medium to high contrast, medium to low contrast, very high contrast, very low contrast. And you can add those in and then color grade in between those two nodes to create the look and style and feel that you want from your product animation. And of course, I re-added that song that we did inside of Blender. And so now we have everything synced up to the beat and looking great. You can go ahead and once that finishes, press O for an out point. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the song right here. I don't need those last couple frames head over to deliver, name this, and you can always change this to an MP4 and do whatever flavor or do whatever type of export that you would like to do for your animation and you're all done.